गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स सो बेटा वी हैव स्टडीड इन कैपेसिटॉन्स दैट कैपेसिटर विल स्टोर द एनर्जी एनर्जी हाफ सी बी स्केयर ओके दिस इज द बेसिक फॉर्मूला एंड फ्रॉम द फॉर्मूला क्यू इज इक्वल टू सी बी वी कैन चेंज दिस इन टू मोर फॉर्म्स सो बेसिकली if one capacitor is there and they have a capacity c and potential v is greater than half c b square is the energy stored in that capacitors then we have stated that if we have a number of resistors and they are connected in series and then in parallel then we have seen in series the resultant is this way we can find out and in a parallel it will be a simple sum of the capacities so this we have studied till now if we are connecting the capacitors in a series and parallel then what will be the effect on the total energy stored in the combination of resistors meaning is when we will connect in series when we will connect in parallel the energy will increase or decrease or what will be the effect same it will remains right like if we are saying that we have one capacitor of capacity c1 right it has a charge plus q here and minus q here like that uh let like this is the first one so first charge is this one like that and we have one more capacitor and its charges are plus q1 minus q1 and capacity c2 okay Uh, they have a different different uh, 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 potentials uh, b1 and v2 like that right now when we are connecting them in series okay in series we have seen that the charges will come same on both right this way the same charge if q is here then plus q is here and minus q will be come here right no need to uh, uh, tell again i think you all know that in series the same charge appear on both the resistors on all the resistors in fact so the charge is same and capacity we know how we can find out then the total energy of this combinations that there are three resistors right one more is there c1 c2 c3 their capacities the total energy is will be half q square over c you know half cb square in place of uh, b we can uh, write the value from a basic definitions and we will find this formula also okay so half q square over cs cs is the combination of this resistor so teen resistor jo humne lagaye hain in teeno resistors ka charges kya hai q q hai sab ka aur unki total capacity kya hai ye hai cs अब वन ओवर सी एस की जो वैल्यू होती है कंबिनेशन में वो इस तरह लिखी जा सकती है ओवर ओवर सी सी यू नो है ना अभी लिख रहा था मैं बेटा देन सेपरेटली वी विल मल्टीप्लाई देम एंड वी विल फाइंड दिस हाफ क्यू स्केर ओवर सी वन हाफ क्यू स्केर ओवर सी टू लाइक दैट सो दिस इज सी डीपली दिस इज द चार्ज ऑफ फर्स्ट कैपेसिटर एंड दिस इज द कैपेसिटी दिस मीन दिस इज द एनर्जी ऑफ फर्स्ट कैपेसिटर वेन दे इट वॉज नॉट कनेक्टेड in series with the other ones and this is the capacity of a second capacitor this is the capacity of a third capacitor so these are the individual energies of a each capacitor so what we find out the total energy of the combination will come the sum of the individual one jitni iski energy hai jitni iski hai jitni iski hai to sab plus ho jayegi series ke andar parallel mein dekhte hain पैरल कॉम्बिनेशन में क्या होता है आपको पता है बेटा कि वोल्टेज पोटेंशियल इनफैक्ट जिसे हम कहते हैं सो पोटेंशियल सबकी सेम होगी चार्ज अलग अलग होगा पोटेंशियल सबकी अलग अलग होगी तो टोटल एनर्जी के लिए कॉम्बिनेशन की आई एम यूजिंग डिफरेंट फॉर्मूला हाफ सी बी स्केयर ओके हाफ सी बी स्केयर इन प्लेस ऑफ वी इन ऑल द कैपेसिटीज वी एंड टोटल कैपेसिटी सी वन प्लस सी टू प्लस सी थ्री है ना सम यू नो पैरल के अंदर सम करके आते हैं देन अगेन वी विल मल्टीप्लाई दिस वे वी आर फाइंडिंग दिस नो सी डीपली अगेन हाफ सी वन वी स्केयर 
its capacity and its potential. So this is our first capacitor energy. Same, this is our second capacitor energy. This is our third capacitor energy. Same result we are getting. Meaning is whether we are connecting in series or in a parallel, total energy is coming the sum of individual capacitor energy. ठीक है, energy जो है वो तो plus ही होती है. Clear? Now next topic, energy density of parallel plate capacitors. But this is very small topic, but sometimes it was asked in a board examinations. Energy density of parallel plate capacitor. We have parallel plates and some charges plus Q right here and minus Q is here. Its capacity is C, right? Then you know there will be some electric field, right? A is the area of each plate. Then energy density is actually what? Energy density means total energy which is stored in this capacitor divided by the total volume of this capacitor. You know that this is the area, area A of A and D distance we are taking between the plates. So the total energy divided by volume, energy per unit volume kitni ho jati is capacitor ke andar. Total energy half CB square we can write and total volume pi R square H. Hai na? Area, this area into this D distance. So area into the length, it is the volume, right? Now C capacity, epsilon naught A over D of parallel base capacitors. And we know the formula E is equal to minus dB over dr. In place of dB, if we will write V, and in place of dr, the distance D. Jo potential difference beach mein ban rahe. Then what will be the value of V? It is actually ED, electric field into the D distance between them. So the same we are writing here, V is equal to ED, the whole square and divide by AD. Now what is going on? This square separately can be written this way. Area will cut the area and this D and this D, D square and this will cut. Half epsilon naught E square will be the energy density. Okay, beta. Correct it. On your notes, it is half epsilon naught E square. So, this capacitor ki jo energy hai, wo hai half CB square. Or energy density hai half epsilon naught E square. You know, epsilon naught is what? Absolute electrical permittivity of this free space. And E is the electric field now. Before starting, next topic common potential. I would like to ask I would like to ask some questions. Just imagine you have two buckets. One is this and one is this. You can see they have a different different capacities. C1 and C2 that. So whose capacity is more? But asakte wada kiski capacity jada C1 jada ya C2 jada. Simple enough. C2 ki capacity kya? Jada beta, right? And we have put some butter in it. Here is some butter, here is some butter, right? Water means charges, right? In our conductors, water means charges. So they have a different, different charges. Okay, just imagine in your mind. In other call, alag alag charges hai. Okay. Now just imagine when you will connect them from a bottom with the pipe. Okay, this way. Then what will happen? The charges means water will start to flow from this point to this point or this point to this point. कहाँ से होगा बेटा? यहाँ पे height कम है. Height का मतलब होता है potentials, right? Potentials. इसकी height ज़्यादा है. इसकी potential ज़्यादा है, right? B1, B2. इसकी potential ये जो है ये ज़्यादा है, right? Charges जो मर्जी हो, charge फर्क नहीं पड़ता. जितना मर्जी हो ये इस चीज़ पे कोई भी flow पे कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता, right? पानी कितना है किसके पास ये चीज मैटर नहीं कर रही जब आपने इसको जोड़ दिया तो अब आप बताओगे कि कहां से कहां पानी जाएगा क्या देखोगे हाइट देखोगे साइड ही देखोगे ना बेटा कि कैपेसिटी देखोगे नहीं हाइट देखोगे तो अब आपने हाइट देखी कि इसकी हाइट ज्यादा है इसकी पोटेंशियल ज्यादा है तो क्या होगा वाटर जो है यहां से यहां फ्लो करना शुरू कर देगा कहां से कहां गया हायर पोटेंशियल टू लोअर पोटेंशियल चार्ज गया अब आप बता सकते हैं बेटा कब तक जाएगा चारस चलता जाएगा चलता जाएगा खाली हो जाएगा तब तक 
नहीं ऐसे नहीं होगा जब तक दोनों का लेवल सेम नहीं हो जाता दोनों का लेवल सेम नहीं हो जाता यही होगा ना बेटा हायर लेवल ऑफ वाटर मतलब हायर पोटेंशियल से वाटर लोअर पोटेंशियल को गया जितना वाटर जितना चार्ज मतलब इसने यहां फ्लो करवाया उतना इसने गेन किया राइट right? बट ये तो नहीं हुआ कि इसकी हाइट जो है वो इतनी डाउन हुई इसकी भी हाइट इतनी ही बढ़ेगी नहीं इसकी तो कैपेसिटी में डिपेंड करता है ना इसकी तो हाइट कम बढ़ेगी एक तरह से देखा जाए तो है ना तो ये कुछ दो बातें हैं पहली बात हायर पोटेंशियल टू लोअर पोटेंशियल चार्ज जाएगा कब तक जाएगा जब तक दोनों के पास सेम पोटेंशियल नहीं हो जाती दोनों के पास सेम पोटेंशियल नहीं हो जाती हाँ क्लियर है बेटा सेम पोटेंशियल नहीं हो जाती अब चलो इसको स्टेप बाइज करते हैं बड़ा अच्छे से समझ आएगा लेट वी हैव टू कैपेसिटर्स दे हैव अ सी वन कैपेसिटी एंड सी टू कैपेसिटीज बी वन एंड बी टू दे हैव अ पोटेंशियल चार्ज इज नॉट मैटर है ना वेन यू आर कोनेक्टिंग दम पैरली कोनेक्टेड पॉजिटिव विद पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव विद नेगेटिव देन वट विल हैपन्स दे विल हैव अ इनिशियल चार्ज सी वन एंड इंटू वी वन फार्मूला ना बेटा हमारे पास क्या इज इक्वल टू बी इज इक्वल टू क्या इज इक्वल टू सी वी वी है फॉर्मूला राइट लाइक सो वट इज द चार्ज ऑफ फर्स्ट कैपेसिटर सी वन वी वन एंड ऑफ अ सेकेंड सी टू वी टू ओके सो दिस इज द टोटल चार्ज इनिशियली सी वन वी वन एंड सी टू बी टू is the first charge of a first capacitor charge second capacitor charge now when we are connecting them their potential will becomes common right it's v it's v right so what will be the charge on this capacitor now c1 v and on this c2 v right then finally the charge becomes c1 v plus c2 v plus right so this is the v common potentials what this thing is clear that whatever charges one will lose second will gain the same charges okay meaning is jitna charge starting mein total ka tha finally bhi utna hi charge rahega jitna charge pehle tha utna hi charge baad mein rahega na pani to idhar ka udhar hi hua hai charge idhar ka udhar hi hua jitna initially charge hai utna hi finally hai initial charge is equal to final charge initial we have written from this equation and final from this equations so common potential becomes c1 v1 Plus C two V two divided by C one plus C two. So what is this? This is the total charge initially, and what is this total capacity? So this is the formula. If you want to calculate the common potentials, then you need only the total charges and a total capacity. Nothing else. Okay. Note it down. If they will be connected in a series like that. पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव नो पॉजिटिव इज नॉट कनेक्टेड विद द पॉजिटिव देन इन दिस फार्मूला देयर विल बी अ माइनस साइन ओके देयर विल बी अ माइनस साइन नेक्स्ट टॉपिक आई एम टेकिंग लॉस ऑफ एनर्जी इन शेयरिंग चार्ज यू नो दैट व्हेन वी आर कनेक्टिंग टू बॉडीज लेट्स इमेजिन नो द बॉडीज राइट टू मेक इट सिंपल of different different capacities c1 c2 right and they have a different different potential also then we know from a higher potential to lower potential charges will go and they will get a common potential and a common potential will be this way right this you know the formula right c1 v1 plus c2 v2 over c1 plus c2 total charge over total capacity so what is the total energy before sharing what in this topic we are doing we know that charge is flowing one is losing the charge and second is gaining the charge there is no loss of a charges what is there any loss of energy yes definitely there will be a loss that we want to calculate why the loss is there when the charge will flow there will be a heat production and that heat will be the cause for the loss of the energy so that we want to know so what we are doing initially what was their energies we will calculate that energies before sharing first capacitor energy a body energy half c1 v1 square and second half c2 v2 square after sharing they will have a common potentials 
and their energies will be total energy after sharing is half first capacity is its potentials plus this way right so this is the energy after sharing now this is the energy starting and this is the final we will take a difference if there will be no loss then it will become zero if there is a loss then it will become positive because u1 will be more so we are doing the same u1 minus u2 just difference we are taking nothing else so u1 we have written from here and u2 we have written from here the b value from equation number one we have put c1 v1 plus c2 v2 here is a square so the square is upside and square is downside this will cut here and only one will left then 2 2 2 and this is here so lcm is 2 c1 plus c2 so here c1 plus c2 multiple here is c1 plus c2 multiple due to lcm and here total the same term is so this will remain as it is c1 plus v1 plus c2 we took a whole square now we are multiplying inside c1 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 square v1 square then c1 c2 v1 square then c2 c1 c1 c2 v2 square then c2 square v2 square and here is the formula a plus b the whole square and with the minus we will multiply right now c this is c1 square v1 square here is also plus minus cut this also and this also plus minus will cut here c1 and c2 are commons from here and here we will take out what remain inside v1 square v2 square and minus 2 v1 v2 downside is 2 c1 plus c2 up to here clear now this is the formula a square plus b square minus 2 ab means a minus b ka whole square this is now see whatever is the potentials whether v1 is more or v1 is less if it is positive then this will become positive if this is negative then again it will be positive capacity is always positive this is positive means this term is positive is it clear ये स्केयर की वजह से ये टर्म हमेशा पॉजिटिव ही आएगी मतलब क्या हो गया पॉजिटिव क्यों आ रही है क्योंकि u1 ज्यादा है इनिशियली जो दोनों कैपेसिटर्स की एनर्जी है वो ज्यादा है फाइनली कम हो गई इसका मतलब क्या हो गया लॉस हो गया कुछ एनर्जीज का तो एनर्जी जो है वो लॉस हो जाती है इन द फॉर्म ऑफ हीट जब हम दो बॉडीज को दो कैपेसिटर्स को जोड़ते हैं तो कुछ बातें नोट करनी है कि जब हम दो बॉडीज को दो कैपेसिटर्स को जोड़ते हैं तो नंबर एक उनकी पोटेंशियल कॉमन हो जाती है चार्ज चलता है कहां से कहा हायर पोटेंशियल टू लोअर पोटेंशियल जो एनर्जी ए जो चार्ज एक लूज करता है दूसरा उतना ही चार्ज गेन करता है लेकिन पोटेंशियल में ऐसा नहीं होता ठीक है पोटेंशियल दोनों की एक जितना लूज करता है उतना उतना गेन नहीं करता बी लॉस्ट इज नॉट इक्वल टू बी गेन राइट ये बात समझ आ रही है नंबर फोर वहां पे एनर्जी का लॉस होता है चार्ज का कोई लॉस नहीं होता एनर्जी का लॉस होता है ओके बेटा थैंक यू